These are little bones, maybe a bat or a rat or something. Uh -huh. So you, feel, you see the whole floor covered with bones here? Mm -hmm. uh, this is where he sits up there at nighttime and has his dinner. Hey guys, well let's see here again from my islandjamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am at a Bingdon Estate. That's a place in Green Island, Hanover area, bordering Negril Sack, Sauter area. There's a fantastic great house there with a whole lot of history. I'm actually, I've already started a tour with, with Andrew, the owner. I've already seen the huge windmill or remnants of it and we're still walking. I'm going to show you the entire tour. Oh and by the way, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the bell notification, that way you'll stay updated on all my latest videos. It's raining but it's not going to stop us. Stay tuned. Well, we're at the Abingdon famous Abingdon Great House, the oldest inhabited great house in certainly in Western Jamaica, perhaps Jamaica in general. Hello everybody, how are you today? <laughs> Welcome to the Abingdon Great House. Alright, so here he comes, here he comes. Alright, so this is Andrew. This is Andrew Mar. Uh, Alright, so Andrew. So welcome to the Avenue Great House. All right. I'm going to take you around and give you a little bit of history and also take you on a short tour. Awesome. Now, this area where we are now is actually part oldest part of the building. Yeah. And you'll notice here that these walls are made of cut stone mm -hmm. and the walls are all six feet thick. Six, and six feet? Mm -hmm. oh. And the reason for this is that in the olden days they had to be strong enough to withstand cannonballs. Whoa. Okay, so originally these doors that you see here would have been made of heavy wood, uh -huh. reinforced by metal. Yeah. And on the inside you have what we call the keep, uh -huh. which is the interior of the building where you would basically go to lock yourself in. Oh. You have to remember in the olden days, yeah. we had problems with pirates. Yeah. We had, had to worry about the Spanish coming yeah. back and yeah. uh, trying to capture Jamaica. Yeah. So, and also in the olden days we were producing sugar yeah. and rum. Yeah. No, the, the this which, property, which, which was high, which was which was which was gold at the time. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> al almost similar to gold in the price. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. yeah. Now, if you had to lock that up, you yeah. needed a good place. To yes, be able yes, to lock yes, it up. yes. So and, on the inside, it's yeah. basically a fort. Yeah. And what you don't see here today, because they've been filled in, mm -hmm. are all the uh, the gun ports. Ah. So on the inside, there are still the gun ports where you know you'd sit there with your with your musket, uh -huh. uh, and that's how you defend defend the keep. Ah, all right. right? So and um, you know, as I was saying in the 1930s, my grandmother she this was originally made of wood, the balcony, mm -hmm. but okay. she turned this over into concrete. Okay. Now, when I started renovating here. I had to chisel a lot of these parts back to get back to something solid to build onto again. Mm -hmm. But here, um, these walls, 1674, mm -hmm. they're just as good as the day they were made. Okay. Right? Solid, solid, solid. Looks good. And this, so this is the area, you said six feet thick, huh? Right. right. Okay. And these are, this is the original. You can notice the, the, the old original old British bricks. brick. No, we also, also here on the property, we also have Spanish brick. Okay. All right, so yeah. I believe there's some Spanish history here prior to the British game in 1655. Ah. So there there seems to have been what we have is, in, we have actually in this section over here, we have the remnants of an old kitchen. Where? Um, oh, o outside. You can't see it right now. Yes, yes, yes. The yes, bush, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. But, actually. Um, the, the bricks there are made of, uh, are Spanish made bricks. Ah. The Spanish made their bricks a little a little thicker mm -hmm. and a little wider. Ah. The British made them just like you see here now. Yeah. Right? Okay. Um, we're actually having some of them tested yeah. because uh, we believe we have some foundations here that predate the British arrival in ah. Jamaica. And there, Interesting. there seems to be some Spanish history here as cool. well. Cool. Cool. Now, in the olden days when you made bricks, yeah. what you would do is if you had a good source of clay around, mm -hmm. you would make your bricks right where you're going to build something. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would bring them from another area where you yeah. could get good quality clay. Yeah. And then they were fired in, in a kiln or uh, oven as we would say mm -hmm. and um, then you build whatever you wanted to build with it cool cool but, uh, it looks like the rain is easing all right so i'm going to take you around a little bit all right and then we'll good. come back and do inside the house all right, right. good good break. stay tuned guys <laughs> still drizzling but now that's not going to stop us we're going to we're going to enjoy this tour i don't know if there's anything unique here and you want to tell us well, um while while we're at it 
We'll, we'll work our way along, but all what right. I was going to tell you is, you can see all the old cut stone. Yeah. Right? So those parts are all original. Yeah. Anywhere where you actually see cement, that was added on in the 30s. Okay, good, good, good. All good. right? Yep, yeah. And, it's, and they have two-story building. <laughs> oh, what is this? An old windmill. An old windmill. <laughs> so All right, this is, this is interesting. This was actually used for the the grinding of sugar cane. Uh huh. And when I say grinding, you don't really grind up sugar cane. You press the canes yes. to extract the juice. If yes. you ground it up, cane has a lot of fibers inside. Yes, yes. So basically, you'd have fiber in the juice, and you'd have to strain it out. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. So this was uh, built in 1776. Wow. And it was actually built by the, the grandson of Thomas James. Uh -huh. Thomas James was was the person who... Thomas James, you said, was the original owner? For no, my... Richard James. Richard his James. Grandson Thomas oh, okay. came along and uh, finished up this. But We're going to go up there. Yep. You may be able to see we have a family of white owls in there. We yeah. call them Patu. Ah, but, uh, all right. Let's see if that. You're, if you're quiet, you yeah. might catch one or two. All right, let's go. Basically, you had a, a floor here, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. which would have had a hole in the center. Oh, this would be the floor here. Right. Uh -huh. So you can see the beam holes. Uh -huh. right? So there have been heavy wooden beams going across. Anywhere you see those square holes, there were beams going across. Oh, okay. All right. And if you look up here, you can see one old time, one still protruding. If you, if you look straight up there. Ah, right. yep. That's it, that's it, that's it, got it, got it. You got it, yep. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So those beams would have gone right across. There would have been an opening in the floor. Uh -huh. And up on top of this building, where you see that next set of, would be another floor, mm -hmm. where the beams would go across. Yep. Now, that entire building that was set on top of those beams mm -hmm. was all on wheels. On so wheels? The, so the whole top of the building could rotate. Oh. And that contained the propeller. Uh -huh. and it could rotate to wherever the wind was coming from. Uh -huh. Now that ran a central shaft right down the center mm -hmm. to where the bottom of the floor is here mm -hmm. and uh, turned to a stone rollers. Mm -hmm. So on this floor where we are now, this is where the overseers would have been mm -hmm. and the person that manned the gears. Because uh -huh. right? you, you'd be able to turn off the rollers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now sugar cane. Yeah. Sugar cane would be reaped in the field. Yeah. Uh, It'd be brought up to this entrance. In those days, it was all by horse-drawn cart or beautiful donkeys. Yes, yes. Right, and they would bring the canes through that side, right there, yeah. Feed them through the roller, uh -huh. and then throw the spent canes out. There oh, through side. that side. Okay. Right. All right. So it comes through there, guys. Right there. That's the door. Mm -hmm. Cane, and it feeds in here. We're through the rollers here in this middle section. Mm -hmm. And then this trash comes out to that side. Yeah. Right, now the juice itself, mm -hmm. a little lower than where you can see on the floor, mm -hmm. there's actually channels. Mm -hmm. And that would take the juice down to the bottom of the hill where there's some very big tanks and vats. Yeah. And that's where the boiling houses were. Ah. And that's where they would actually process the canes. So it's actually, so it's, it, was, it was powered by wind. Yes. Total wind. Yes, all this, by wind. This is an impressive, imposing structure, I was mm -hmm. telling you. Yeah. Uh, you and know, it's all bricks, it's all cut, cut stones. stones. Well, cut stones. You know, if you actually look at the stones themselves, yeah. you can see a lot of little chip marks. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And these uh, chip marks is where somebody sat there with a hatchet all yeah. day long chipping at the stone Man, to, to make it smooth and to fit it into place. That's a lot of work. Now, they say back in the olden days that one man can lay, make and lay four of these stones in a day. Four? Yeah. Only four? Yeah, because you have to cut them and chisel them and knock wow, them whoa. And, and fit them. They take a lot right? of work. So you can imagine with a building like this how much work actually man, went into buildings. Man, man, and it's so right? thick as well. Mm -hmm. Now I noticed something, Andrew. Is this, this is this significant, that hand? Uh, yes. Um, but there's a, a whole other story for that. <laughs> and you'll have to come and take the tour to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So the challenge is out to you. <laughs> All right, good, good. I didn't see the patu. There's, there's two on that side. The patu? As well. Oh, oh, the hands. You can see how long they were there because the stone is actually growing right over it. 
Yes, 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 yes. Where they are we? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go down inside. Yeah. And we'll take a look, and I can explain to you a little bit, a little bit more about the work into the middle. All right, awesome, man. Stay forward, stay tuned, guys. All right, so this is another view from the. This is what we call the Keystone. The Keystone. Right, which, uh, and on that stone says so T. James, uh -huh. Abingdon, yes. 1776, which uh, was when this building was completed. I see that, yes, yes, yes. T. James. Yeah, for Thomas James. Thomas, yeah, okay. The grandson of Richard James. The grandson of Richard James, James, the original owner. Uh, from here, you get a little, little better view. Yep. So we're at the bottom now, guys, and this, uh, this structure. I would say probably about about this is uh three it's about four stories tall, so you're talking about forty feet. Four mm -hmm. hold on. Ten, ten so ten, feet, oh no, ten sorry, sorry. Story. Yep, 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 you're right. Yeah. So it's uh it's about That's ten. ten feet. <laughs> oh cool, cool, cool. This so quite imposed. Ten, twenty, thirty, but about three and a half stories tall. Yeah. So quite impressive. Remember we're on top of a hill. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, so yeah. this is a, not quite the highest point on the property, but this is uh, the spot that got the uh, was easily accessible that mm. had regular winds. Good, good, good. So fire. this is the old windmill structure, guys. That's the name of it. Mm -hmm. Good. And this is a, a windmill. Yep, yep. And this was used for the, the pressing of the sugar canes. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right. Lots now, of history. In the, in the olden days, like I was telling you, um, the you know, you can see the chip marks that we were talking about before. Mm. But what actually holds this together, the mm. mortar that they use, mm. is actually made from a mix of molasses, mm -hmm. ash from the wood fire, mm -hmm. and they'll take the same limestone, put mm -hmm. it into a kiln, mm -hmm. and heat it up, it'll become a powder. Mm -hmm. right? And that's all mixed together, and that's what hold, holds the building together. Whoa. Now, you know, in Jamaica we have uh, hurricanes. Yeah. We're prone to earthquakes as yeah. well. Yeah. And we also have a, a wet and a dry season. So yeah. over the course of the year, the ground will expand and contract. Yeah. So to see any building that stood up since 1776. Not normal. Uh, that's still here today. <laughs> hurricanes and yeah. earthquakes. Yes, yes, and and yes, constant yes. expansion yes, and contraction yes. of the yes, soil. Yes, yes. Um, it's a pretty amazingly well built It structure. is an amazing structure. Mm -hmm. Amazing structure. All, All right. right. Find you right. Yeah, man. Glad, um, glad. The process of making sugar cane oh. in the olden days, oh. uh, really, it still hasn't changed much to this day. Yeah. Nowadays, they use more mechanical means. Yeah. But in the olden days, it was all either run by wind. If mm -hmm. you had an ample supply of wind, mm -hmm. you used wind power. Yeah. If you had a river, mm -hmm. you used a water wheel mm -hmm. to, to turn the, the, the mill. Yeah. And uh, if you had neither of those, you would use a donkey. Yeah. Um, walking around in a circle, turning it tur uh, mechanical. <laughs> yeah. Right. I captured, by the way, I captured that. I, I have a video on that. There's a gentleman way up in the hills of deep rural West and mm -hmm. does it the same way. Sure. They, yeah, they, so they, I have they, a video. They, they have an old one in Africa you can see it. Cool, well. cool. The guys, if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description mm -hmm. for that as well. So but this is good, 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 solid. Now, you learning. know, sure came. It's always wheat from December to April. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is that's when we go into our dry season here in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the dry time, that's when the, the canes actually push to become the sweetest because the water supply is dwindling. Mm -hmm. So the amount of wa water in the cane mm -hmm. actually decreases mm -hmm. and it's also the maximum amount of sugar. Now it's also our coldest time of the year. Mm -hmm. So during that time of the year, we, the, the sugar is at its sweetest. Mm -hmm. uh, it really needs those cold snaps when mm -hmm. we have those cold fronts coming down from up north. Mm -hmm. That's when the sugar cane really becomes sweet. Cool. It's just like the oranges in Jamaica. Yeah, in yeah. the winter time when you get those cold spells, that's mm -hmm. when the oranges really push the, the sugar. Ah. So the process of, of making sugar um, is basically six steps of boiling. Yeah. All right. So what they'll do is once they've extracted the juice, mm -hmm. they're going to they're gonna boil it six different times. Mm -hmm. uh, each time they boil it, what they're doing is they're uh, they're they're reducing the water content, yeah. and they're also skimming off any any of the impurities that bubble up to the top, such yeah. as uh, the molasses, yeah, sure. uh, any fibers from the canes yeah. that ended up in the juice. Yeah. They'll all be skimmed off. Yeah. And after you've repeated the process six times, you end up with what we call wet sugar. Yes, yes, right? yes. Now wet sugar would then be dried on canvas in the sun yes. to make brown sugar. Ah. And it was always brown sugar that was exported from Jamaica. Oh, right. so that's so. So from wet sugar, sugar to brown sugar is really just sunning. 
Yes. Ah. So wet sugar in the sun to dry it, mm -hmm. that makes gives you the brown sugar. Ah. Now Jamaica, we exported brown sugar mm -hmm. uh, back in uh, the 1600s and the 1700s. Mm -hmm. um, this is when sugar really first came on the market, mm -hmm. right? And uh, prior to the sugar coming on the market, the only way you could really sweeten your food or your drink mm -hmm. was to use honey or some sort of fruit or, or fruit juice. Yeah. Um, so with the advent of sugar, where you could have a little that you could sprinkle into your coffee or your tea, right. you know how they use people up their tea, yeah. right? They commanded top dollar. Big money, right? big In money. In fact, yeah. uh, as, a, as you said before, yeah. Kind of like gold. Almost gold. Well, actually, the price of sugar was comparable with the price of gold in those wow. days. Wow. And that was because, you know, people were willing to pay so much to have a, a little of these. Um, you may have heard of the spice trade. Yes, and yes. The spice road and yes, all, yes. all these kind of things. Well, yes, this, is, this is one of the. So that demand is really what drove the industry here then? Mm -hmm. wow. But you see, nowadays, yeah. with the advent of artificial sweeteners, yeah. sugar beets, yeah. corn syrup, yeah. all these kind of things that produce sweetness, yeah. uh, the price of sugar is now dropped so low where a property like this, which is 500 acres, yeah. can't support itself anymore. Wow. Um, you know, you'd have to have more than about 10,000 acres. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. really nowadays with the sugar, mm -hmm. what we do is we send it into a central processing facility where mm -hmm. they actually market the sugar for you mm -hmm. and they as well um, do the grinding and the pressing of the canes. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. I think that's what... But, uh, that's what yeah. The white sugar that you used to, mm -hmm. most people in America and around the world are used to white sugar. Well, white sugar, we would export the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. That would go to England and they would refine it further to make the white table sugar. That okay. You used to. okay. Why would they do that though? Because um, um, you know, you lose a lot of the nutrients. Yeah, that's, that's my understanding. But it is pure sugar. It's pure. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Good knowledge, guys. Here, that's but you see on this little lower level here, mm -hmm. remember the breeze doesn't blow all the time. Yeah. Right? And when you have 500 acres of sugar cane to reap, mm -hmm. right, between the month of December and April, mm -hmm. you see after April comes the rains start to come again. Mm -hmm. The sugar starts to take on more water content mm -hmm. and the fields get muddy and, and mm -hmm. waterlogged. So yeah. after April, you pretty much have to shut down the crop. Yeah. Right? So on this lower level that you're looking at here, there would have been two smaller mills, mm -hmm. right, run by donkeys walking around in a circle. Oh, over this side here. Right, so it would be one, two mills okay. here. Cool, cool, cool. Right. All and right. As you can see down there, you can see some of the old cane fields. Yes, well. yes, yes, still there. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. And I was telling you about the patu. Yeah. Right, you might see a little white feather here too. Yeah. But you notice all these little bones? Yeah. These are all remnants of the, 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 the owl's dinner. What is that? These are little bones, maybe a bat or a rat or something. Uh -huh. So you, you see the whole floor covered with bones here? Mm -hmm. uh, this is where he sits up there at nighttime and has his dinner. So the, oh, so the, so the owls come out about dusk. They're nocturnal, so they sleep in the day, uh -huh. and at nighttime they come out to hunt. So, so he eats, you, you said rats? He eats rats. How about, he eats. you have to be very quick to catch? See? Oh. Bats. Oh, okay. That's a That's bone a of a bat. Skull. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. All right. <laughs> all right, they'll, all... they'll even catch puppies and, and, and small animals like that as well. Oh. So, you, you see, I wasn't telling you a story about Yeah, that. so, they're okay. Patu, patu. Patu. Ah. Probably they're known as a screech owl. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So, at nighttime, you'll actually see them flying around here. Yeah. And uh, hunting. Yeah. And the reason they're called a screech owl mm. is because they let out, when they're hunting, they let out a very piercing screech. Uh, what, uh, what kind of screech? Uh, a piercing screech. Okay. Now any prey on the ground will yeah. hear that and know that their life is about to end. Yeah. So they'll run away. And they catch them. And uh, the bird will sense that movement, they'll swoop down. So <laughs> usually I leave on a light here. Yeah. All right. And all night long the birds are coming through here just catching the bats. Ah. Back and forth. Oh. All right, so that's the imposing windmill. Uh, this again, you said it's 17, 18th yeah. century, guys. No, 1776. 1776. 1776. So it's 18th century mm -hmm. stuff here, still alive and well. Uh, quite imposing and quite yeah. formidable as well. Now when I when I started cleaning it off, yeah. uh, the owls were actually nesting, so <laughs> I've kind of left one side for them, yeah, so that uh, you know they can they don't lose their home. All right, good good. Yeah. Good, good, good. This is the great house. We're going 
we're going uh, inside now. All right, so stay tuned. Again, it's drizzling, but it's all good. We're going to make sure we capture everything. All right, so we're inside. Inside the great house, lovely, rich history, and all sort of artifacts. So, Andrew, so tell me now what. Oh, so these are cross items here. Sure. Uh, so, well, first of all, if you can just. This Let me is, just. Uh, the different this sections. Is what we call the sitting room. The sitting room. And this is where in the olden days, spot on at 4 o'clock, your tea would be served. <laughs> all right. And uh, it's also one of the first rooms that we started renovating here, and always started here. Yeah, you can see the, some of the old um, chandeliers, but yeah. um, we're uh, we're taking time right with redoing them all. Yeah, uh, we actually have birds living in this one as well. Oh, yeah. Right. So, so this is the what do you call it? The tea room? Well, this is really the sitting room. Sitting room. Where okay. You come and catch the breeze, you know, and you. Well, and guess what? The birds still come here. There's a bird feather here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good. Yeah, so that's it comes to the little uh, vents there. Yes, yes, yes. And then this is it? This, this would really be where you, the, the guests would be greeted. Uh -huh. You know, if uh, basically the, the next section was more for family. So okay. if you had a visitor, you would really invite them into this section. Okay, good, good. Uh, uh, this little boy, this was always what we call the um, TV room. TV room. There's a good TV here when I was a little boy. Okay, cool. It came on at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing was um, That's JBC. Cartoons, yes, right. yes, yes. And the last thing at the end of the night at 12 o'clock when they signed off was a national the, anthem. The color, yes, I yes. remember, I remember. <laughs> All right, and so this here appears to be sort of... This is a, 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 this is a family tree. A family tree. Yeah. But it is, it is uh, not the main family. This mm. is kind of a spin-off from that. Okay. So, so we won't get into too much detail. All right, no problem. Yeah. And then these are just some... Some, not, some, some crafts. Craft, oh, the regular um, craft here. There's a, a lovely lady that makes crafts. She okay. Does, she does quite a lot with bamboo. Yeah, cool. Um, cool. Her name is Mariana. Yeah. And uh, so we always showcase a little bit of All crafts. Right. Good, good. Now uh, in here we have what we call the uh, the drawing room. Mm -hmm. and this is really all right, now this is on the floor here is... Oh, yes. This is all wood. There all wood? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So here and the furniture, they're all made of mahogany. Yeah, all mahogany. Mm -hmm. yeah, mahogany floors. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, this is really where in the olden days the family would gather to enjoy family time with yeah. music. Always yeah. at Christmas time there was, um, you know, a big Christmas tree in here. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, some pictures of, of, of the family as well. Yeah. Great Aunt Mary and uh, my mother and father. This is this is my grandmother, mm -hmm. Miss Ivy. Oh. Uh, she was named Ruth, but yeah. everybody called her by her middle name affectionately as Miss Ivy. Miss Ivy. Yeah. There's also a, a picture of her over here as well. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. And then nice. I was at my sister's um, my sister's wedding. Uh, or more pictures. This is be England here. No, this is all Jamaica in the, in the England, 20s Jamaica. 1900s. Yeah, good, good, good. And this is a this piano, is, is it? This is a piano. This is uh, actually a German piano. Uh -huh. It's a Carol Otto and it was uh, made in 1918. So. 1918. It, 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 so it's, okay, it's, it's still? It's, it's in need of repairs. So going need of repairs. Ah! <laughs> yeah. we're, trying, all right. we're trying to resurrect it. All right, here. good, good, good. All right. good. Uh, then over this side you have what would be the, the main dining room. Mm -hmm. This is where the, you know, the family would gather to have meals. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can see the teapot mm -hmm. showcasing oh, the rich history yeah. of English history. So, yeah. Give you a little idea. Yeah. But, um, you know, as I said, you know, I haven't been here a little while. You can see the flowers are... are, are yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. nice. It's, it's, yeah. Well, the essence of it mm -hmm. is certainly here. You know, it's, 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 it's here. And outside you have uh, the main balcony. Yeah. And this is really where you'd go in the evening time to catch the breeze and yeah. enjoy the, um, the moonlight. Yeah. But, uh, you know, with COVID, it doesn't get the, the attention it needs. Mm -hmm. But one of the, the neat things about this yard is that. Uh, all you need to do is go down to the seaside and catch yourself some fish. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll find everything else to eat right here. Man, I can There's see that. Red fruit. Yeah. Sour sap. Yeah. Uh, avocado. Yep. Uh, ackee. 
I key up. Right? Yeah. Um, almost everything is here. And in this yard, you'll find bananas, yams, yeah. plantains, yeah. pumpkin. Everything. Um, everything is growing right yeah, here. I, I, I see. Uh, I, that's... Um, Trumpet leaf. I did. I, I learned recently that trumpet leaf is a medicinal herb as well. Okay. Did, 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 I'll give you one more fact about a, a trumpet tree. Yeah. Uh, the tree itself is very round. Yeah. So in the olden days, where they pulled the big ships out of the ocean, yeah. they used a trumpet tree because it's it's it, the bark is slippery, and it's perfectly round. So, so, they, they so when the men are drawing the ropes uh -huh. to bring up the boat uh -huh. to repair, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. It slips right on the. the ah. The, how do you know when you have a hurricane? Yeah. The trumpet tree tells you yeah. that you're going to have a hurricane. How is the hole then? It turns its leaf upside down. Really? Yes. Yeah, so just, just before a major hurricane hits, yeah. the leaves of the trumpet tree go upside down. Really? Yes. And I, di I didn't see this before Ivan. I'd heard about it. But in Ivan, I saw them all. All right, guys. The, learning the there. Learning the there. Learning there. We're ho we're hopefully, we don't have... Four, we have less hurricanes. But if we do have another one, I'm going to look. <laughs> if I hear of another one... When the hurricane is coming, yeah. you look at your trumpet tree. When you yeah. see the leaf turn upside down, that is coming. It's you know you're about to get hit. Yeah, get yeah. inside, it's get ready. Wow. Nature really does tell. Mm -hmm. Talk and to us. Here, you know, we have the royal palms as well. Yeah. And these palms actually grow to be the tallest palms in the world, you know. Mm. Um, they'll just keep growing until they get so tall that either the, the breeze knocks them over mm -hmm. or uh, maybe with the heavy rains, the footing gives out underneath. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, ours up here on the hill get, tend to get struck by lightning when mm -hmm. they get very tall, mm -hmm. so uh, that's what tends to kill them off. Wow. Uh -huh. right. The only thing we just put this dining table here, which is not original, mm -hmm. um, well, we're restoring the original. But, but this those, chair is original. Those are definitely original. Ah, I can see that, guys. Yeah, this is the only, is it English? Take time with that chair. <laughs> it's a, English chair? It's about ten times older than you. <laughs> oh, oh, respect you, respect you. <laughs> but it's solid, look at it. Oh, yes. Ah, we can't get these anywhere. No. So uh, what we're doing is we're going through redoing everything, sanding them down, and refinishing them. Yeah. And this is what? What is this one? That is it would be a chest. All right. Uh, okay. You know, you have the side tables. Yeah. Um, so all right. Little by little, we're going through doing it. And this oh, 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 okay. Okay. But uh, this is this is other parts that we have. So there's nothing under the, under the basement. Oh yes, there's quite a bit. But, uh, you have to come and see those. Ah. Or, or rent one of the rooms. Ah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's a challenge out. So there's more under the basement according to Andrew. Yeah, the old keep is there. Yes. What is this? Uh, it's a big coat of arms. Oh, just frame. We have a letter from the, our old Prime Minister who passed away not too long ago. This is Seattle. Okay, oh, a letter from Seattle here. Okay. Alright, good cool. look. Now one of the neat things about this house is that uh, when Jamaica was getting its independence back in uh, 1962, mm -hmm. um, prior to, there was our first prime minister, a gentleman by the name of Alexander Bustamante. Yeah. Uh, he came from a little town up in the hills not far from here, a place called Lenin. Yeah. And uh, being that it was uh, kind of a remote area, mm -hmm. um, and he was friendly with Miss Ivy, he asked Miss Ivy if he could keep some of his meetings here. Yeah. And uh, she, of course, obliged because, yeah. you know, the main road, yeah. the one you came in on today, that was only built in 1962. Okay. You know, between 62 and 65. Yeah. And uh, prior to that, the road came right at the base of the hill here. Yeah. up around the yard and you'll notice when I sh we go outside two gate posts on the other side yeah that was the road on into ah, the grill ah. but you had to go through um through orange bay yeah. logwood to sheffield yeah and then you could come out and cross ford the river to to go over cool you, you couldn't travel across the, the great morass cool 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 so 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 um this is where you said Bustamante so he would, would be, have some of his meetings. Sure. Meaning, meaning the political meetings, yes. uh, well, trade unions? No, not, not, not for trade unions. This is where they'd sit down and discuss the laws of Jamaica, the Constitution. Oh, okay, and okay. Things like that. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Usually a, a small group. Yes, yes. He, of course, loved his whiskey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my grandfather loved his rum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, uh, you know, you get a. Uh, Get up a little bit of the history. Good man. You can come and get more when you're ready. All right. Well, guys, <laughs> I am going to come back to get more. I mean, the challenge is out to you. This place, uh, Andrew, we still offer tours. I think mm -hmm. uh, yes, we do. guided tours mm -hmm. uh, by apartment, obviously. Yes. You know, so Andrew, 
Uh, well, let me ask Andrew for his contact. Go ahead, Andrew, and share your contact information. Well, you can reach me at uh, 876-531-4508. That's my telephone number. Or you can look us up on the website at halfmoonbeachjamaica.com. Yeah, so that's it. I've been done. I've been well, done great, great house. Great house. One of the we'll still we'll the soon most. have a website for this. Still the only inhabited great house, the oldest inhabited great house, mm -hmm. as far as we know, mm -hmm. uh, in this part of the island, perhaps Jamaica and sure. Total. The only older buildings you'll find in this area are maybe the the courthouse. Yeah. Or a few of the old churches. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. This is good. This is good. All right, guys. So that's the old Abingdon Great House a national monument if you ask me lots of history uh for learn especially people younger persons who want to get an appreciation and understanding of what it was like in the 1800s 1700s 1800s for sure this place provides all that it's a little bit wet now because i said it was it has been raining but we didn't allow that to stop their progress so and it's getting a little dark, but I'm so happy, man, that we were able to make it to capture this monument. All right, guys, so there you have it. I've been done great house, the famous I've been done great house here in I've been done near green in the Green Island area of Hanover, Jamaica. Lovely architecture, wonderful history, definitely worth a visit. I would love to hear what you think of it. What do you make of this? Make sure. You share a comment down below and again if you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification that way you'll stay updated on all my latest videos this is indeed the real jamaica Just before a major hurricane hits, yes. the leaves of the trumpet tree go upside down. Really? Yes. Yeah.